We have a different vision regarding what happens when we die or after we die. All these four Indian religions talk about reincarnation. You come again and again to try and continue your spiritual mm -hmm. progress. And it will come to an end when you realize what is the nature of reality, what is your own true nature. When you discover that, not just believe it, but actually discover it for yourself, your journey will stop. It's called moksha. So the aim of Hindu life is to attain moksha. means realizing what is my true nature. Then I don't need to be reincarnated anymore. In the Abrahamic tradition, they say, look, in order for... The, the people of these religions to be more focused and be a true religious, let us give them a carrot and stick argument. Um, if you've been a goody goody, there is going to be a day of judgment and you'll be either sent to heaven or hell. So people say, oh dear, it's risky stuff here. I better be religious now. Don't risk it. Don't sit on the fence even. So, in a way, it's a way of focusing the attention of the devotees to become more religious. So they have a day of judgment. In the Indian religions, there is no day of judgment whatsoever.